Ode Abdin, thank you for being with us. You are a businessman and a managing partner in Capital Trust and an expert on the Middle East. You, in a recent session, you were just slightly optimistic about prospects for uh, peace in the Middle East. What gives you that optimism? Well, the geopolitical situation in the Middle East are aligned. Well, one could say Iran, you could say Islamic State, you could say Al-Qaeda, aligned no, in the, what the, sense? The Islamic State and Al-Qaeda are entities that believe in absurdities. And when people believe in absurdities, they commit atrocity. So they have no future. Way back, I said to people in Washington that these guys won't last. And I think you're, you're right, absolutely. So. I'm optimistic that all the players, for the first time, the Arabs in the Gulf and anywhere else, are willing to participate in the peace process. In the past, they were in the background, yeah. OK? They, they have good relationship with the US now. And, uh, and Trump said he wants to do the deal of the century. So I think all these opportunities may so you So you're putting quite a bit of confidence in Donald J. Trump. No, I'm just saying he, he has told people in the region that he's going to do something. But I think the ball is in Mr. Netanyahu's court. If Netanyahu wants peace, that's based on a two-state solution, with Jerusalem being the Arab capital. I think the Arabs are ready for that, and the Palestinians. Uh, uh, but do you think Netanyahu is ready for that? Because in his last general election, he sort of disavowed the two-state solution. I know he backed off from that yes. afterwards. But... I mean, if you listen to his words and deeds, he doesn't seem to be serious. However. Leaders change. Nixon was very hard line on China. And then in the, he was the one who no, opened the relationship and ultimately led to a strong US-Chinese relationship. Uh, that's a good parallel. We'll keep our fingers crossed, inshallah. Oda Abu thank you so much. Well, thank you. Good to meet you.